Good evening and welcome to State of Business, our television's prime term business news bulletin. I'm Madhu Shadhwapala Kumar. Let's take a look at the headlines first. Sri Lanka achieves highest FDI of 1.63 billion US dollars in 2017. GMOA to launch a one-day token strike tomorrow. Now the story is in detail. The foreign direct investments into Sri Lanka has reached over 1.63 billion US dollars in 2017, doubling the 802 million US dollars achieved in the previous year. According to the Board of Investment, this is the highest ever foreign direct investment in Sri Lanka with solid growth across key sectors. Among the highest growth sectors were export-oriented manufacturing and services which includes tourism, technology and infrastructure. The highest FDI came from China, followed by Hong Kong, India and Singapore. The BOI has embarked on several new initiatives including a virtual one-stop shop for investment facilitation with 24 government agencies which will come into operation in 2018 to strengthen the approval and execution mechanisms. Meanwhile, Minister of Development Strategies and International Trade Malik Samaravikrama noted that the government's target is to achieve 5 billion US dollars in foreign direct investments by 2020. The Government Medical Officers Association today announced that they will stage a one-day token strike tomorrow. Addressing the media in Colombo today, Secretary of the GMOA, Dr. Harita Aludge, stated that the strike will be launched as the government has failed to respond to several demands made by the GMOA. As the Government Medical Officers Association, we will be initiating a trade union action token strike tomorrow from 8 a.m. onwards. And uh, we have demanded uh, 10 major demands, including the revision of the extra duty allowance and also the abolition of the CITEM and uh, other issues which are specific to the doctors and also to the health sector and the government uh, employees in the general. Therefore, we have urged the authorities to uh, give solutions to these uh, issues uh, for the last one year. And uh, because of the lack of response from the government and from the health authorities, we have decided to go for the trade union action tomorrow starting from 8 a.m. Uh, and it will be a 24-hour token strike. And thereafter, we have decided to uh, call the phone our emergency general committee meeting on 5th of February. And uh, uh, at the general committee, we will decide the further action. Let's take a look at more news after this short break. Welcome back. The Borders Edge entered into an agreement recently with Melchior's Project Management Private Limited to build a major theme park called Fantasy Land overlooking the Diyawanawa Lake. In addition, a giant ferris wheel named Colombo Eye will be constructed in the theme park. The project is a 600 million rupee investment and would be the first phase of the theme park's construction. Megapolis and Western Development Minister Patali Champikaranavaka said the lake site next to Borders Edge would be developed and transformed into an entertainment city. The theme park is expected to be family oriented and a place where children as well as adults can enjoy themselves via state of the art attractions. The Ferris wheel will be one of the main attractions at the theme park with a viewing tower that will provide a bird's eye view of the Sri Lankan coastline as well as the central hills. The 9th annual Fairway Goal Literary Festival, which has grown into one of the most anticipated literary festivals in Sri Lanka, was concluded in Goal yesterday. Since its inception in 2007, the Fairway Goal Literary Festival has become one of the most anticipated literary events in Southeast Asia for both authors and literary enthusiasts around the world. This year, the festival hosted renowned and accomplished authors, filmmakers, radio broadcasters, newspaper editors and academics from countries around the world including England, France, Germany, Switzerland, Guyana, Pakistan, India and Tasmania. Packed with interactive sessions, the festival also featured panel discussions, literary awards, tea and poetry readings, cookery demonstrations, performances and live music, which served to stimulate and motivate literary activity in attendees. 
Let's take a look at the stocks after this short break. Welcome back. Trading at Colombo Stock Exchange ended on a negative note today. The old share price index dropped by 2.09 points to close at 6,453.95. And the S&P SL20 dropped by 12.31 points to close at 3,737.58. The turnover was 337 million rupees and 19.3 million shares were traded. Up next is Forex rates. With that, we are wrapping up State of Business for the day. We'll meet you tomorrow at the same time with more latest news. Until then, take care. Good night. <music>